Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Ifi, and it's Ifi and the Big Boy. It's Helpful Monday today, and in this tutorial, this is not gonna be a tutorial, this is gonna be a giveaway. I mean, let me take that again. I'm gonna be giving away the old templates that I used to upload my videos on YouTube. So, this is a very nice template that I made myself using a lot of tutorials that I, I watched on YouTube, just like you're watching now. This is going to be like the best video you're gonna get as a new producer who wants to upload his videos on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, I clicked the wrong tab. Yeah, this is the template right here. So it's sick, it has water drops and you can customize it to write your website. You can change the colors and the water drops is very high tech. If you want to see it in the full display, just check my old videos. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to show you, I still need the templates, I still mess with it. So I'm going to upload the next video on my channel using this template. And the bit name is Waves. When you download the project, this is the first thing you want to do. You want to replace the audio. Right click and go to replace file footage, replace file. Then you navigate to your tagged um, audio. Then the next thing you want to replace is the video. Then go to replace file, replace file here and you go to your video the the video is gonna be like any song you download any any music video you download from the internet you're gonna replace it with that because you know we only have audio files we want to control um, convert it to a video file so that YouTube can like recognize it and to keep our audience engaged we don't want to use up some boring picture in order to make it bounce you have to do a little bit of mathematics so once you click in the video sequence, select in the replace video thing. If you want to control how the size of your video is, if your video resolution doesn't match the default here, all you need to do is just click on the video, click here, click on this screen, then drag one of the dots here, you know, to suit your, and you can always shift to maintain the same aspect ratio. Then once you do that, you want to go to time, stretch, transform, time, time stretch, but in order to know the figure we want to use, you have to do a little bit of calculation here. So what I normally do is I have a formula for this already. And the formula is written here. I don't know if my sticky notes is gonna be fast enough to load. Yeah, so this is the formula. Don't show all of my sticky notes. No, 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 no. Get up, get up. I'm surely gonna cut that off. Anyway, this is the formula here. So this 100, so, 180 BPM is the BPM of the video I loaded, third party video. 194 BPM is the BPM of my own beat. So in order to convert the BPM, the tempo of the third party video to my beat, what I need to do, I need to convert it in order to make the dances in the video bounce to my beat. So you do 100, let me bring out the calculator. 100 divided by 180, which is the BPM of the song. 0.55 times your own BPM 194 minus 200 so the answer is 92.222 so in order to escape the copyright strikes you're gonna do time stretch and then once you do that you put 92.222 keep current frame so that once you select okay it won't change the frame of which is showing and you start looking for it again so you put minus in front so that it's reverse you have this reverse effect instead of progression so that's the secret to my video when all the artists are always dancing but i don't think Tina she was really dancing she was just probably stripping or something i don't know she's too extra anyway that's not the point <laughs> so make sure she's dancing or wherever you're using the dance to make it more catchy and the next thing you want to replace is the logo animation this is basically my logo here so if your logo if you don't have a logo no problem i'll share how to go about that and if you have a longer logo too i'm gonna treat that so when you, once you replace all these things, the next thing you want to do is like, you know, customize it in the bit title here. So the title here is just what you click. And once you click it, you double click on the waves and you write bit title. I'm going to write it like bit title here. But my title is waves because I did a video before, but OBS is so trashy. Oh man, OBS is just so trashy. It wasn't recording well. You guys should use um, Express Record. I had to download it. I wasted two working days trying to figure out why OBS, OBS will stop. I mean, stop recording from my laptop. Anyway, the next thing you want to do is um, the website title, the website name. It was coming in, coming out. So I'm trying to look for, yeah, this is it. 
so it doesn't stay like the title but then it's attractive coming in coming up so the this is the place where you correct that and select it so you write your title website title right blah 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 but whatever you write just make sure you control c it copy it because it's a mat it's a layer that works together with this this works together with this so you want to co copy it from there then you control v here paste it here if you don't do that it's gonna look weird because there are two letters you see there that being masked and the ne last thing now is the video itself so once you replace the video what you want to do is go to the video folder here you must change the picture um the color the color of the video because you don't want to be using the same my custom colors you know my custom colors are only for me so the in order to that just right click this you know left click hold left click then drag it up to change the colors and then you see this color changing why is it not changing here oh okay you can only change one color at a time so when you, once you click it you just right click drag and that way you will like copy it and you know control c then control v then you drag it out and arrange it in order to get to 2 minutes 36 seconds depending on how long your tagged um, bits are going to be so you loop that video once you change the color you, you loop it over and over again once you do all those arrangements the next thing you want to do now is just put the video all together so my default settings for my tagged versions are 2 minutes 36 seconds if you want to change the length of yours just click on um click on u here the letter u then the opacity thing will come out then you drag it make sure you give it more space because this is opacity making it fade out give it more space then you can like also edit the video sequence in the arrangements in the video tab i was coming from to loop it more and give it more space so that you have like more minutes but let me keep it in my default setting right now so the next thing you want to do is um replace with your logo so once you replace with your logo if your logo is longer than mine or if it's shorter let me use shorter example all you need to do is just drag the tip here don't drag from here you want, you don't want to mess up some things that i said there so you just want to drag from here and hold the shift button in order to like align with the last thing below the final animation sequence so you can drag it if your logo is one minute long i don't know maybe you have a very strong graphic in your logo that is one minute long like cj so cool so cool and if you don't have any logo just drag it out to the end so it works fine for that too that's all about the template i'm gonna leave you free for downloading the link below make sure to subscribe to my channel for videos like this and let's preview it and see how fresh it is Thank you.